All right, welcome to my April Crew Pack gameplay and review. So this is none other than the God of War himself, Ares. So he's part of the Warrior God set, and it says the Ever Brawling God of War. So a lot of people are saying this is the best Crew Pack skin we've ever had. Now, we've had some pretty good Crew Pack skins before, and we've also had some major flops. So just looking at him initially, I would say this is definitely top three. I think some of the crew packs had way more value, which made them essentially better. But in terms of the skin itself, this is definitely a top three crew pack skin ever. And I think that's why a lot of people are so mad about it, because I believe it was originally intended to be a battle pass skin. That's what I read, at least. Regardless, let's take a look at the styles. They're pretty amazing. First one is his namesake, Ares, and it's this black, gold, and almost like a maroonish red. Very clean all around. You can see he's got a little flame animation on top and his pickaxe has the same effect. Secondary style is a great one as well. It's called the War Gods Legacy. This one totally reminds me of a modified Red Knight. So you can see he loses all of the gold and the red turns a shiny color, almost like a metallic compared to this first one. And those are the only two real styles he gets. Everything else is exactly the same as all the rest of the crew that we've had recently. So for example, we've got the Auric one. Now, don't get me wrong, these still look amazing. It's just that they're not new. They're things we've seen before. Now, with that said, again, he looks like a modified knight, which is amazing. And sometimes the fire on his plume will change as well. The next one is phase. So there you can see it change. This is pretty sweet as well, the holographic effect. Then we've got the rhyme bound, which changes it to a light blue. Looks like a frozen knight. And then I can't wait for this one. Unfortunately, we have to wait a long time, but this is the Cosmic Legacy. So someone always asks me this, but in order to get these styles, you have to be a member of the crew for months upon months. Now, it's not in a row. So to get this one, it says five additional months. So you could unsubscribe from the crew and then wait a few months and then resubscribe, and then it would pick up right where it left off. So as long as you get five months in some way, it doesn't have to be five months in a row, you'll eventually get this style. So not a single bad style out of all these. Like I said, absolutely amazing. The Lego version is pretty pristine as well. Very cool. Of course, you can't customize that. It's just what you see is what you get. And then the back bling, the cape, and the pickaxe are exactly the same. They come with all the same styles. So I'll just show you real quick. So the original one is red and gold with the fire effect on the bottom. This one is the War Gods Legacy. It's a jet black with that shiny red. And it won't let me show you the bottom of the cape. It's kind of glitched. Then the Auric one turns that metallic gold. That's incredible. The Phase one is the holographic effect with silver. Then we got Rhinebound, which is that frozen color. And then lastly, the Galaxy effect, which is very clean. And same thing for the pickaxe. It's a little less noticeable on this. Here's the secondary one. I guess it does get a more shiny red there. And then this one, yeah, this one's not really that much different. It's just a little bit gold. It should be fully gold in my opinion. Here's the Phase one. It's got a little bit of holographic. Like I said, a little less noticeable. That one's actually good. And then the cosmic is the galaxy effect. Now they all change the splash. So you can see right there for the galaxy. And this one has the light blue. And this one has the phase. So that's awesome. Sometimes they don't do that. So that's great that they actually included it. There's a red one. And what's his default do? Let's see. It's just gold. Okay. So unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to show you the very first style because that's all we have so far. So it's going to be a pretty quick review. Now we don't have a glider and we don't have a wrap. So we got to at least make a little bit of a combo. My personal favorite glider is right here. The Blady Bird. It's got that same red color and then the jet black and a little bit of gold. So the red is actually kind of hard to match. It's not your typical red. And I'll show you when we get to the wraps. Now, if you played in Chapter 1 Season X, we've also got the Steel Wing, and I think this would match quite nicely as well. I'll show you both of them regardless, but this is a fairly big glider. And then another favorite of mine is the Blade Raven. And this one has three different styles that all really match. So the first one is more of a silver and red. And then this one is called Steel, and it's jet black and red. And then this one actually has gold in it as well. So it's gold, black, and red. So I think all three of those would work. Maybe I'll just show all three of those just to see which one's best. Now, as for wraps, this is what I'm talking about. So this, to me, is red. Joni's most formal, that is red. But when we see that in-game, compared to this color red, it's not going to match. This is more of a darkish red. Oh, you can see the cape's already glitched there. So this one's like a blood red. So then I went with Ratty. We'll see how that looks. Then there's Battle Barn. Then we've got Doomed Echo. That looks like it could go pretty good. And then Waning Moon. 
So one of those should work. We'll compare and contrast. Okay, so the first glider we're gonna look at is Blade Raven. This is not my personal favorite. I think this is the first steel style. So it does have a sweet deploy. If you have this one, this is actually a really clean glider. Now you can see the red totally does not match. This is what I was talking about. This one might match the secondary Ares style, but definitely not this one. So although this one does look cool and it kind of flows, I don't think this is a perfect fit. Here's the gold style of the Blade Raven. Okay, so that, I don't know. It's a little better, but again, the red and the black still really don't match. Again, though, a pretty nice glider. It just doesn't complement it as well as I would like. The crests are cool, though. Very awesome. The next glider is the Steel Wing. Let's see how this looks. Again, the only complaint on this one is that it's huge. Look, you can barely see your character, especially from this perspective. The tail just takes up so much. Don't get me wrong, though. This is an amazing glider, but if you want to actually see your skin, this is not the best one. From this perspective, it's not too bad, but then you can't really see the top of the wings. With that said, the wings do match quite nicely. That red mimics it pretty good. So if you have the steel wing, it's definitely a solid choice. And it breathes fire. Can't get cooler than that. And then my personal favorite, the Blady Bird. Incredible deploy there. The katana comes out, you grab hold of it. I think the colors match quite nicely. It's a little metallic in the red, but in certain lights, it looks pretty good. And again, this will match the secondary style of Ares perfectly. But it's not as big as the Steel Wing, and it's still got the nice blade effect, like the Blade Raven that we saw. So this is my personal choice, but if you have something better, let me know in the comments. I do enjoy all three of these gliders, to be honest. And here we go. The God of War himself. He looks absolutely incredible. Now, normally with these way cool armor skins, they're incredibly bulky, and the aim down sights is brutal. But I don't think that's going to be the case for this skin. We're obviously going to check it out. You can see the cape has incredible physics. Although capes are my arch enemy because they always mess up. Sometimes they get physics of their own where they just start spazzing out and going crazy or they won't unfold all the way. So I typically do not run capes just because they glitch like that. It doesn't appear to be doing it right now, but I have seen it do it in the locker. So you can see the end of the cape is that fire burnt effect. He's got that nice crest on the back of his cape. The plume animation looks good. You can see the spear end of the pickaxe glows quite nicely. Just a beautiful looking skin. You can see chains wrapped around his arms. So I imagine just his eyes and the top of his plume and the cape are all that's going to glow. But let's just check it out. And of course the pickaxe. Here we go. Yes, look at that. And they all match quite nicely too. It's pretty sweet. Here's from the front. Very, very clean all around. Let's take a look at the pickaxe next. So it does have the sweet polearm animation. Yeah, you can see it just a little bit better in the dark. How about the splash? Yeah, it's got that orangish glow. Not bad. It's a pretty large pickaxe all around, though. You can see it's quite noticeable when you're running. How about the aim down sights? Here we go. So he is still a little bulky, especially with the helmet, but it's not as bad as some of the other knight skins we've got. I really don't think this is bad at all. Some people may be triggered that you can't turn the animation of his helmet off, but it's not even that bad. Let's take a look at the wraps. So this is the blood red one that I said wouldn't match, but it still looks pretty good. I just wish the red was the same as the cape. So you can clearly see the night and day difference between those two colors of red. That is a bright red. That is almost like maroon. This one's not that bad, but again, it doesn't match perfectly. It's getting close. How about the SMG? Okay, this is the Battle Barn one. That's almost the same color. Let's see the Sniper. That's more of a lighter red, I think. How about the pistol? Okay, that one doesn't look bad. We'll put this one on all the weapons and see what it looks like. I think that's the closest. And we'll take the cape off because everyone always asks me what it looks like without the cape. And one of my subscribers named Beno Yeet left me a comment and said, Can you please show the Ares skin with the Soul Fire chains? I have enough V-Bucks, but I'm not sure how it looks. Absolutely. We'll try those out and see what they look like. So without the cape, uh, he's not bad, but honestly, as much as I hate capes, I think it really adds a little bit of flair to him. But here's the wrap. Yes, this is it. This is the winner. It even has the studs on the end of the weapon. Look at that. So this is the best wrap, 100%.
It's got the gold, it's got the same red, it's got the black. And here's the pickaxes. So that's not bad. It's almost like you're swinging Hades chains. So these are actually in the item shop right now, I believe. So if you're not a fan of the huge pickaxe that he comes with, these work quite perfectly. So I put the cape back on real quick. I just want to see this. Yeah, look at that. Fire galore. Fire from the gods. So I think this might be the ultimate combo with this wrap, these pickaxes, the blady bird glider, and the cape on. Looks amazing. So unfortunately, there's no reactivity upon getting an elimination. I did check it out. So there you go. That is the brand new God of War Ares April crew pack. Do I think this is the best crew pack skin ever? Well, I honestly tried to rack my brain and I can't remember every single crew pack skin we've had. So maybe I'll do a video showcasing all of them and we'll do a ranking of them. But just of the recent ones, I honestly think this is the best one. I know sometimes we say that every time a new crew comes out, we're like, oh man, this is the best one ever but then a new and better one comes along. Just off the top of my head though, the V skin from way back in February, 2021, that was really solid. So that was a good one. And then I loved the Burning Wolf from September, 2021 as well. So I think those two plus Ares are my top three. But again, maybe I'll do a ranking of all the crew skins and we'll see which one truly is the best. But with that said, all the styles for this one are incredible. I don't think there's a single bad thing to say about this skin, which definitely makes it at least top three, like I said. The fact that the pickaxe and the back bling all have the styles, and then for the pickaxe, they included splash effects for all of them, just icing on the cake. I definitely rate this at least nine out of 10. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments why, and if there's a better crew pack skin out there, again, let me know in the comments, because I'm curious which one is better than Ares. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is taper time.